Assalamualaikum. Alright, today we're going to talk about relaying method in mobile communication for LTE Advance. Alright, before we continue, let's see what's it actually uh, uh, LTE is all about. LTE is a long term evolution, it's a standard for wireless broadband communication for mobile devices and data terminal based on a GSM H and UTM slash HSPA technology right if you basically know LTE is actually an advanced system from the last previous is a more likely known as a uh, 3G in which it provide more data communication and very fast uh, data transfer so what is the benefit of LTE all right the first thing LTE improvise signal strengths for mobile devices, laptop, uh, PDAs, and as well as a tablet, right? Provide highest internet communication speed for data communication, low data transfer latency, support both FFD and TDD, and as well simplify the data communication architecture. So now let's talk about relaying for LTE. What actually is all about uh, relay and for LTE? LTE relaying is a technology that features uh, the enable signal to be relayed by a relay nodes. If you look through on the uh, image provided, they have two types of uh, relaying: the first type and the second type. Okay, they have those tower in which the signals been relayed to a small tower and then back to the user right okay what is the benefit of relaying for lte okay. to provide additional coverage and performance without the needs to install all the backhaul capabilities normally required for a base station and the second one relaying uh, is a feature that is ideal for a number of specific area where additional coverage is required but possibly not with the higher capacity of inner uh, town areas that means with a relay method we can save um, our money uh, on creating a new tower instead we just create a normal tower uh, connected to the main tower right so uh, just now we just uh, talk about a few uh, type of relaying right the first one in band in which um, is referring to the link between the base station and the relay nodes are uh, on the same carrier frequency as the link between the LTE relay nodes and the user equipment, right? And the second one we have outbound. For outbound relay nodes, RS, RNS, and BRNS link operate of a different carrier frequency to that the uh, RNU EU link and then they have two types of relay the first type and the second type if you're referring to the first type the first type is more likely control their cell with their own identity including the transmission of their own synchronization channel and referring to the symbol if you look through on the image provided all right type 1 is more likely from the E and B tower direct to the type 1 RN coverage extension compared to the second one. If you look uh, type 2, okay, relay method do not have their own cell identity and just look like the main cell. Any UE in range is not able not able to distinguish a relay from the main E and B without the cell control information can be transmitted from the emb and user data from the relay lte relay if you look through on the diagram provided type 2 is more likely in inside the inbound meanwhile type 1 is more likely outside uh, from the inbound that means it's outbound right okay that means the main tower can provide a data straight away to the first type and then direct to the user. Meanwhile, the second, uh, uh, the second type is the data that provide to the tower and then direct to the user. 
So that is actually uh, very basically about relaying uh, method for LTE. Um, I think that's it for now. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.